Hi guys, it's Paige and I'm back with another video for you guys. Today I'm going to be reviewing the Saint Laurent Monogram card case. I've had this card case for about nine months now. Um, so I'm going to be sharing my thoughts and experiences uh, with this card case. And I'm also going to be uh, sharing how or why I should say Nordstrom gave me this card case for free. Um, but first, I do want to take the time to thank everybody who's watched my videos, who's liked, commented, and subscribed. Um, if you like this video, please be sure um, to give this video a thumbs up and to subscribe to my channel. So let's get straight into um, the review. So I've had this card case for about nine months and I've been using it every single day since then. So I've gotten a lot of wear out of it. Um, when you purchase a card case, it will come in a box. Inside the box, you will get a dust bag. Um, this is like the paper that came in one of the card slots. It, and it also comes with a, uh, what is this? a care card. So one thing you should know about me is that I am not really a SLG girl. I really don't um, care about wallets, um, to be honest, that much. I mean, they're cute. Um, I do have small leather goods, but I don't have a ton of them. My collection is like very, very minimum. Um, Historically, I just have never done a good job of taking care of wallets. Um, I need a wallet for a functional use. And what I usually do is just buy like a, a wallet from a contemporary brand on sale and I use it until it's like literally falling apart or it just starts to look really bad. Um, this is what I, um, you know, the other wallet that I'm using right now, and it's the only other wallet that I ever use. Um, and it is a Tory Burch wallet that I got on sale from Nordstrom Rack, and it is pretty beat up and um, in bad condition, um, which is fine with me. I just need a wallet to be functional and of good quality, so it's not like falling apart. Um, but outside of that, I generally don't really care what it looks like. Um, but the reason why I decided to get this card case is because I had recently bought a few like evening bags or small bags like for dinner um, and, and, you know, going out and things like that. And this wallet right here just didn't work um, for that because it was too big. Um, and you know normally before honestly when i wore like smaller bags and a wallet was just my wallet was too big to fit in that i would just put like take out the few cards that i needed and um you know put them like in a slip pocket a side pocket or something like that um so it was really time for me to like really invest in a card case and upgrade but before because I know that I have a bad habit of not babying, or I wouldn't even say it's a bad habit. I just know that I'm not going to baby a wallet. Um, I need a wallet that is going to be durable and functional. And of course, I want it to look good. Um, but functionality is definitely my number one priority. So for me, I was really considering going back and forth between like the Gucci uh, card case and this card case. I I think the Gucci one is like a little bit cheaper or at the time it may have been like um I don't know maybe 250 this one retails for 275 um but the reason why I opted for this one one is I like the grain leather because I think it's a little bit more durable um and also I just like YSL's logo better even though I am someone that really doesn't like a whole lot of logos on everything um and the Gucci Marmot logo that's on their card case is a little bit uh smaller I just think that YSL's logo looks a lot more elegant in my opinion or I'm just a little bit more drawn to it um, even though it is on the larger uh, side compared to like Chanel or Gucci or some other brands um, and the other thing too is that I just prefer leather over um, canvas and so that's why I did not opt for a Louis Vuitton card case I just think um, 
you know, I don't have anything against canvas or Louis Vuitton bags because I have them. Um, but I just think leather looks a little bit more elegant and, um, I don't know the car the louis vuitton card case is just like real block to me it's just really plain even the monogram one it's just not um the look that i was going for maybe because i um wasn't really planning on using it for daytime use like i honestly was only planning on using this when i ended up carrying those bags that I had purchased um, but I end up loving it so much I find myself using it every day so I end up carrying both wallets with me if I'm carrying a really bad you know like a big bag like a tote or something um, just because I'm also really bad at keeping my cards like my debit card in my wallet I usually put it like in a side pocket and then sometimes I end up losing it or I'm just like digging through my purse looking for my card and stuff like that so this is like really it's just more convenient for me to keep the cards that I use more often um in this and then I also find myself just using smaller bags more often um and the other one is just too big so this card case comes with two slots um, on each side. I usually put one to two cards in each slot just to prevent it from stretching out too much. And it's really all I need um, because like I said, I only carry just like my essentials in here. Um, you also get like a slot in the middle that you can use to carry cash. Um, or put receipts or anything else that you may need in here. Um, I definitely think this one is like a greater value than some other card cases like Louis Vuitton or a Chanel because um, some of the card cases you only get one slot um, and this one you get two on each side. So as far as wear is concerned, I don't have like a whole lot of visible wear um, on this card case, which I think is pretty excellent because I literally use this every single day. Um, I think that it helps that it's in the grain leather and that it's black. Um, on this side, the card slots stick out or, you know, they're kind of stretched out a little bit more than on this side. And that is because I keep my card case uh, I'm sorry, my debit card on this side and just the cards that I use more often in the front. And so I'm like constantly digging in this slot every day. Um, and I think that has stretched it out a little bit more, um, but it's not stretched out to the point like my cards are ever falling out of it or anything like that. Um, you know, so it hasn't been an issue. Um, as far as like the corners, there isn't really any serious wear. There's a little bit of wear. And like I said, I think it may be more visible. I'm not sure if you um, have one of them, have one of these card cases like in the various colors, like a lighter color or a brighter color. Um, you know, some scratches and wear or paint wearing off might be more visible. Um, in the corners and in the inside, you can see right here and right here, there's some wear from use. Um, but other than that, there aren't any real problems. That same wear is on this side uh, and on this side. I don't know if you can really see that, um, but it's nothing significant. Um, but for the most part, like even right here, like the corners are in good shape the glazing is still in excellent shape and it's not falling apart. Um, um, so I'm really happy about that. As far as the hardware is concerned, there aren't any, I'm trying to see if I see any scratches. Um, and there are a little bit of scratches, but nothing like serious um, or super noticeable on here. So let's get into like the interesting part of the video, which I'm sure you're wondering, like um, how I ended up getting this for free. So I ordered this for my birthday. Um, it was one of my birthday gifts for myself. 
um and when i received it there was like a little scratch right here and it's still there it's like one of the like little pebbles um popped off or got scratched like right here and i don't know if the camera will pick that up but it's like i don't know you probably won't be able to see it but there's like a itty bitty tiny bitty scratch like right here on it um and that was there when i purchased the card case when i got it in the mail so i ordered it online from nordstrom um and um because it's a luxury item and you know i paid 275 dollars for it you know i just wanted mine to be in excellent condition um and it was a birthday gift to me um if i had bought this like on clearance or sale or something like that you know i probably wouldn't have fussed about it so much um but i don't know it was just like something that was like bothering me like you know i want mine to be perfect so i called nordstrom um you know like i don't know probably like a half hour after i received it and i let them know that it had like a tiny scratch on it um, that it wasn't really a serious scratch and I was probably being a little petty, but I just wanted a new one. And um, Nordstrom in my state does not, there isn't a Nordstrom that sells St. Laurent um, in store in my state. So I was going to have to do like a, like a return online. So I was trying to figure out like how I could do that, like how I could like process a return or you know what that would look like um and so the person i spoke to he uh told me that he was going to have somebody contact me um which i thought was kind of strange because i really just wanted to exchange it but i was like fine whatever um and then long story short like a couple of days later i just received like a full refund um and the you know the 275 plus tax that i paid for was refunded to my account and that is how i got this for free so shout out to nordstrom for their um excellent customer service of course i don't advise anybody to try to do that to like pull anyone you know pull anything over or um you know try to manipulate the system or anything like that um but I did honestly let them know that it was a very, very, very tiny scratch. Um, but, and I just wanted to exchange it. But I think because, you know, it's like a luxury good, um, you know, they probably couldn't sell it or thought that they couldn't sell it. Um, so anyway, that's how I got it for free. Um, overall, I really do like this um, car case a lot, actually a lot more than what I thought I would. Um, I actually prefer using a car case. Um, and it's not the first time that I've had a car case. It's just the first time that I use it consistently. I also think this car case is adorable. It comes in a lot of different colors and I was really tempted to get like um, a fun color. Um, and I'm still tempted sometimes to like get another car case, but I really don't need another car case. I honestly think that you really don't need a whole lot of small leather goods, especially wallets. Um, because those purchases add up and you know i could buy four of these and i could just like get a bag i just don't think it's worth it to spend a lot of money on wallets um i don't think you need a wallet to match every purse um, but that's just me um so if you you know are like me um I definitely think that if you're only gonna have one luxury SLG that you're gonna be able to transfer from purse to purse or occasion to occasion, I highly recommend this one. Um, I really think YSL has the best card cases. Obviously, I haven't tried them all, um, but when it comes to at least the look of it um, compared to the price point, I just think that um, St. Laurent is, you know, 
the way to go. So anyway, that was my review on the Saint Laurent monogram card case. I highly recommend this card case. I don't have any complaints about it. Um, if you like this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you like content like this, please be sure to subscribe to my channel. Let me know in the comments below who you think has the best um, luxury card case and I will catch you guys in the next one. Bye.